Welcome back, Stas 23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have one for y'all. I got uh, several emails over the last couple months on either somebody asking me what's my favorite knives in 14C28N, or what give me what two knives in 14C28N should I buy? So I figured, why not just make a video? showing 10 of some of my favorite uh, 14C28N knives. Now, these three aren't on the list, and I'll tell you why. Um, this particular one is not available at the moment, but there is a pre-order for these up as we speak, depending on when you see this. Um, and they they have one that has a titanium scales. I, I think it's just 14C in titanium. I am just going to tell you, I got in on the pre-order with the titanium and the black blade. And instead of this satin finish, you can get it in a stone wash finish now. Very smooth action. These are made by QSP. Uh, really cool little knife. And Cuvis uh, Blade Works. He's, he's a super nice guy. So that's not on the list because it's not available. Uh, and these two, I'm just not done with the testing yet. This is the Off Grid Knives Baby Rhino. Really cool little three finger chubby knife. Um, I like off-grid knives, and these are made for them by Best Tech. They do some excellent work. Deep carry pocket clip, tip up, left or right-handed. Uh, and then lastly, the Best Tech Syntax. Uh, this is a tied knife and tool design. Cool knife. Um, luckily, it has this forward finger choil because uh, I think it'd be a little too small if not because I have medium-sized hands and I'm barely, it feels like I'm cramped up on there. But uh, same high quality from Best Tech. And you have that uh, deep carry, tip up left or right hand uh, carry. Good action on this as well. My Carta scale. So these aren't in a uh, you know certain order. I'm just going to say numbers, but there's 10 of them. So first up, we have one that I just now reviewed. And that, oh, that is the Savivi Chevalier. Cavalier, Chevalier, however you say it. Uh, this bad boy comes in at $69. Love that finish. Uh, love the action. Comfortable, slicey. You get a nice full-size blade. I think it's a three and a half inch blade. Um, if you want to hear my full thoughts and testing of this, go check out the review that I just posted. Very smooth. Look at that drop. Nice button lock. That is the Savivi Chevalier. Number two, we have the Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. I love this little knife. Uh, these just came back in stock on Amazon. Uh, I know I get a lot of people ask me. Uh, they're like, oh, they're out of stock. I saw they're back in stock. I even picked me up a second one. That's how much I like it. Um, I have two of the big ones as well. I have reviewed the larger version of this. Um, I just haven't got around to this one yet. This one's in 14C, the larger one's in K110, basically D2. Just a comfortable uh, knife, and the K110 version did so well in my testing. Very smooth action on bearings, contoured scales, ceramic bearings on there. Just a really cool knife. You can use that fuller to flip it. That is the... PF Mini Beluga Petrified Fish coming in at 49 bucks for this particular one. You can also get it in a G Mascus uh, G10, but that brings the price up on the knife. I think I sharp, yeah, I sharpened this up the other day. So hopefully I'll finish the testing with this one soon. I'm just so far backed up right now. Number three, we have the Civivi Riffle. Uh, I love the Riffle. I think it was, it was either my first or second uh, knife for the knife of the year uh, when these came out. And uh, I tested and reviewed this one. If you hadn't seen this, go check it out because this thing did excellent. Um, it's got a few little battle scars right there in the front. Very fidgety knife. You can use a flipper tab. Or you can use that long hole right there to uh, spidey flick it. Just a very fidgety knife, comfortable knife. My card of scales, tip up, left or right hand carry. Oh man, I, I like the riffle a whole lot. Nice and lightweight. And I definitely don't think you'd be disappointed if you bought the riffle. Um, 
The rifle comes in at $55, and that's a good price point because uh, I've been seeing a lot of the 14C knives creeping up to the $70 price point. So if you want a riffle or some of these other ones that I'm that I'm about to mention, you might want to get them now before inflation hits. So VV or riffle. Number four, we have the Reich P801. This one has been a favorite of mine for a long time. It's made many lists uh, for good reason. I just love that classic design. The action on these are just so nice. I've owned probably four or five of these uh, since they've came out. And they make great gift knives. The price has kind of creeped up on this one. Not bad. It's still cheap for what you're getting. Get it for $38. Bucks. Uh, they used to be, I think, like $30 bucks whenever they first came out. Maybe even cheaper than that. But uh, a high-quality knife. Good stone wash finish on there. Got an excellent flipping action, and you can also use those thumb studs, deep carry pocket clip. Now, the scales are stainless, but uh, it's not unbearingly heavy or anything because they're nice and thin. Just comfortable in the hand. Uh, definitely, definitely one of Reich's best uh, knives. They have, they have several knives in 14C, but this one's just my favorite. Number five, we had the Civivi Brazen. This is the drop point. They had a Tanto, but that one was in D2. Um, I don't know if, if you saw that review. I broke the Tanto, doing some stupid stuff, prying with it. And uh, this one was, uh, I was excited when it came out because I liked the Tanto a good bit. It was comfortable. And knowing this one was in 14C28N, yeah, I was, I was stoked. Nice drop point blade there. Uh, the handle is just comfortable. It's uh, nice and slicey. Smooth action. They they usually get smoother and smoother over time. Uh, thumb stud and flipper. And deep carry. Left or right hand carry. Uh, you can pick up the brazen for 49 bucks. That's another one that's a steal of a deal for 14C28N. At least in my opinion. All right, number six was going to be the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. Wearing my beautiful edge there. Um, I love, love the Bare Knuckle. It's USA made. Look at that nice big old uh, 14C 28N blade you have there. Deep carry pocket clip. Got the subframe lock aluminum scales. Uh, not, It's not even assisted. Very, very smooth. Snappy action. Oof, look at that mm, tip up left or right hand carry I've always loved the bare knuckle but the price is definitely creeped up and um, on Amazon right now is the only place I could actually find them in stock I don't know what's going on with that hopefully they're not going to discontinue the bare knuckle uh, but right now I found uh, one for $108 but that was a black wash blade the only one they had like this was 130 bucks uh, you know, 80 bucks would be, you know, the most I would want to spend on this. But, you know, I don't know if that's ever going to come back. So, being that that one's kind of, it's over the $100 price point, I threw in the uh, Kershaw Random Leak, another USA made Kershaw. And Leak's just a classic. And I'll tell you what. I bought uh, this random leak when it came out because these had went away a long time ago, and uh, a lot of people wish they they would they were they would bring them back. And when I saw this one come back, I had to pick it up. This is the bead blast version. I only got it because this is a cheaper version, and uh, this one's like fifty bucks. I think it's like sixty dollars for the black wash version. I plan on taking this one and throwing it in my stone washer. Just so I don't get any corrosion there. 14C on this, of course, like all of them. And, uh, you know, I forgot how much I like the leak until I got this one and started carrying it around. Uh, it is assisted, so, you know, if assist is not your thing, pick one of the other ones. Number seven, we have the Tri Visa Lynx. Uh, I'm almost done with the testing on this. Uh, I. I, I like it. It's it's fairly comfortable in hand. I love that blade shape. It's nice and smooth action. Uh, you have contoured G10 scales, deep carry pocket clip. It is tip up right hand carry only though. 
and on bearings. The only thing is, is these this is uh, something I got off of Amazon, and they're still uh, fairly new. They they've they've gotten several designs out. I have another one to uh, show y'all here soon. So this one right here is going to run you forty eight dollars, which is a good price for the quality. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do further testing, being that I don't know the company. And I'm going to compare it up against uh, some Civivi and maybe Reich 14C. Make sure it's on par with that because it, it did it did good, but it was factory edge. So I'm going to sharpen it up again and test it alongside of one of those. So if you don't want to take a chance on that, another great one alternative is um, this. What is it? The, the Orion Knives Solaris. Awesome, awesome knife. You can see mine. Mine got used and abused. <laughs> Titanium pocket clip. It's pretty thick. Button lock. I mean, super fidgety. Watch. Whoop. Very fidgety. You got the thumb stud deployment and the flipper. The Orion Solaris is a sweet uh, work style knife. Number eight was going to be the Kubi Nova in 14C in titanium. However, I couldn't find them in stock anywhere um, that were under $100. So I had to throw an alternative. I love this knife. Look, just look how smooth. Whoop. So um, if that's out of the budget for everybody, uh, two good. I got two alternatives to it. And I'm almost done testing on both of these. You have the uh, Kubi Mizo. I think it's the Mizo. This $70. I don't love the G10, but it's a comfortable looking steak knife. Front flipper. Or one that I like a little more than that, and that is the Hide. This is a uh, CM design. And uh, yeah, it's comfortable. Another front flipper. And you have that thumb hole. It's kind of hard to get your finger in there for the thumb hole, but uh, you still have the front flipping action up here. Just a cool little knife. These two are 70 bucks. They're, they definitely went up on their prices. Well, or for 14C being that they just started bringing 14C in. Uh, the Atlas is another good one. Just trying to give you all some alternatives, but they're all good knives. Number nine, we have the Button Lock Elementum. Uh, button lock elementum is a performer. I love this knife. If it had a thumb stud or a flipper of some sort to deploy it other than the button, which is not terrible, but I just, I just don't love that. Uh, it's very comfortable in hand, nice full size blade, nice deep hollow grind on there. I just sharpened this thing up again and, uh, I use this all the time to break down boxes when before the recycle truck comes. <laughs> I break down all the boxes usually with this because it's usually handy on my desk. Uh, deep carry up, tip up, left or right handed. Very, very smooth action. I think I'm going to message uh, Civivi and see if there's any chance of getting a thumb stud, thumb stud deployer in the exact version I know they would have to bring that blade up some probably because I don't know you could probably catch it I don't know but I like I like the nice compact design this these run you $64 but if you don't like the fact that it doesn't have a thumb stud or, or a flipper tab uh, I got an alternative and that is the real steel uh, what is it called the H where is it at H6 S1 uh, I've had this thing for a long time. It's got that, you know, quirky beta lock or whatever they call it. That secondary lock. I don't ever use that. But, uh, comfortable in hand. They had several different variations. I don't love the fact it's a recurve, but it's not a terrible recurve. So, it, you can sharpen it on your fixed angled systems fairly easily. Um, this is the carbon fiber G10 laminate stainless uh, frame lock it's on i think it's on washers maybe i don't know it's been forever since i've taken it apart it's got a smooth action but yeah it's on washers i forget that's true but uh comfortable overall i like the knife i've used it for many years now and last but certainly not least this one took me by surprise and that is from shield and knives and this is the bulbasaur 
Uh, it's definitely a polarizing design, and as you can see, uh, it is a mirror polish blade on this one. However, if you don't like the mirror polish like me, uh, they do offer it in a, I don't know if it's sandblasted or what, but it says sand finish. Uh, very, very smooth action, and I'm hoping that the other finish is as smooth as this one is. But look at that. Whoop. Very smooth action. Contoured G10 scales. Uh, and this thing, being it's a full flat grind, comes down to a nice thin edge. I tested and reviewed this one. And uh, it's just a comfortable knife. And the, the action is just oof, very, very nice. You can pick this one up for 70 bucks, And if, that, if that's just not your style... Uh, an alternative that I've loved for a long time as well is this Reich. What is it? This one's the P662B. This is the budget end version. They got a, like a new higher end version of this. I think you can get these for like 30 bucks or something like that. Absolutely love the knife. It's, it's a smaller knife. I mean, let's show you this. Bulbasaur is a full size knife. And there it is next to the Bulbasaur. So it's it's definitely a smaller knife. I just love that blade shape. I think it's so sexy. Uh, it's a single thumb stud. G10 tip up deep carry pocket clip. So there you go. So that is uh, 10 and plus some of my favorite 14C 28N knives. I would definitely like to hear yours down below. Uh, especially, you know, if it's one that I don't have, I probably will pick it up because I love me some 14C. I know there's a ton more out there, and I even had some more that didn't make the list, but these are the ones that I enjoy the most. So if you have any questions about any of them, let me know. I'll try to leave links to everything that is available down in the description. And uh, I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.